Hello everybody, my name is Catherine. I am the host of Chakras and Cuss Words podcast and today I am doing a tarot read for the week of October 18th and we are covering all the elements. We are covering air, fire, water, and earth. Um, definitely if that is your zodiac element, that is the rotation we will be going in right where that little paper is. Make sure to check out chakras and cusswords www www.chakrascusswords.com if you would like to book a private reading or see some of the education I have on there on the chakra system. So our first card for our air signs. We have the hermit. Oh yes. Don't hesitate to retreat and to find focus. The next card we have that kind of jumped right out. Five of Swords. As you can see, there might be some energy within this week where you're feeling almost uncertain. A big decision is coming in. Don't let the past shadows weigh you down. Don't let the past shadows hold you back on anything that's likely to take place that is either something that you desire or something that the universe has you desiring. And our third jumper is <clears throat> the Ace of Pentacles. And it is in reverse, but it speaks a lot of volume, a lot of volume of the wealth, of the management, of the courageousness, and of the ownership of what you hold. So take time to really express yourself in your own area. Take time with your decisions. Don't let the shadows and the self beliefs and the limiting self beliefs hold you back. As you can see, that's an old part that's gone away. Let it fly away. Don't let the outer influences of um, other people influence your thought process. And that is for the air signs week of October 18th. And now we're gonna kick it in for the fire signs and what do the fire signs have to offer and what is going on with all the fiery, fiery signs. All the fire signs, what a fun time. Ooh, we have one right here. We have the Seven of Cups. It is in reverse, so I feel like somebody in your life is kind of filling your decisions, filling your cups, filling up this clarity. As you can see, you're on two different paths. Possibly, you could be making some very big decisions. Don't hesitate to rush through anything. Take time to think it through. Take time to weigh out your options and take time to move forward on what works best for you. Like I said, with all big decisions, with all changes it's something that definitely takes time what possibly could be working for you before is no longer working for you now and another jumper oh, man beautiful beautiful we have a queen of swords a lot of independence with this card a lot of new journeys a lot of um, setting the setting the stature of what is to come, setting your presence, starting a legacy, and starting what you are holding on to. What it means, possibly there could be some life-changing uh, decision-making plans for this week. Let's see what the next card has to say for all the fire. Next card is a Knight of Swords in reverse. So I definitely feel like there's some decision making, some independence lining up right here, where possibly you're seeking a new journey. The journey is going to be a little bit rough as you're moving forward, but that is expected with anything new. So definitely take your time when you're making your decisions this week. And let's move on to the water signs. Remember, you can always go on to chakrascusswords.com to book your private reading. Also, some great, great new podcasts coming out this week. Um, today, it is the Crown Chakra. The following week of October 25th is the Witch's Wounds. Set intentions to heal your witch's wounds. 
and that's going to be a very fun podcast. I will update it on the YouTube channel as well, but I suggest you please check, go over to your favorite podcasting channel and check it out. So the first card we have six of wands makes me think that the water signs are going to be experiencing some new changes, some celebrations, something's happening in the beginning of the week, something big, something grand, um, something that is going to be almost like an experience that they've been planning for a long time. It's finally starting to come. Oh, and we have another jumper. And this is a great card, the chariot. So you are riding this journey very solo. You are, and that's okay. You know, sometimes we don't need a full group. We can have presence in our self, in our um, independence. I, like I say, I'm very much a solo writer. I have friends, um, but a lot of my journeys, um, a lot of my collaborations are very small. Um, I do collaborate, but for the most part, I like to tweak my journeys on my own in that area of where it's just me working, working to bring the light of whatever it is I am. Um, it's hard to explain, and then I have another jumper. We have the Three of Cups. Yes, so I do feel that there's gonna be a bond. There's a journey coming forward, definitely a celebration, a grand rising, a grand opening. Maybe you're just really getting attached with your spiritual self. As you start to move on, you will see that you are basically the holder of your magic. You are the holder to the key. You control the stage that you set on, that you stand on, that you uh, have towards your path. And as you come to the end of the week, you're going to have to really see that there's others who are like you. There's others who accept you, who are um, conscious in who you are, and they are willing, and not only willing, but they want to get to know you and build a bond, possibly reconnect with a sister, a brother, a sibling, somebody you consider family. And for the earth signs, what do we have coming up for you guys? Beautiful read for the water signs. Oh, first card is a jumper, and we have the King of Pentacles. Ooh, such a powerful card with the King of Pentacles. Makes me really think that there is a lot of legacy taking place, a lot of wealth um, in the direction of maybe some career paths, finding where you feel comfortable, finding that you have basically achieved a lot you are sitting kind of like with your companion enjoying life enjoying what you have to offer what you have brought to others and brought to yourself so that's an amazing card to have the second one is the eight of swords everybody has the shadows everybody has the times where we feel like our hands are tied we can't really escape the present state don't be highly alarmed by this card. Most of the time, it's working upon your self-reflection. So if you've already achieved a lot, you need to give yourself more credit. You need to really acknowledge it. Oh, oops, just dropped the deck. <laughs> so we will pull from this one. Uh, sometimes that happens. Oop, 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 oop. Let's reverse. Okay, so we will pull the last card from this getting too excited. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do my table and all that because sometimes with the tarot deck it can be a little difficult and we have 10 of cups. So don't be alarmed by the eight of swords in the middle. I really want you to see this whole read as a flow. So you have to really have the consciousness that you've created a very very warm environment for yourself already you're kind of sitting in the stature of your legacy there might be some self-doubt and self-reflection where you're almost feeling a little controlled maybe you're not able to express yourself like you fully want go ahead and do some reflection definitely towards the middle of the week on a Wednesday if you need to meditate and contemplate don't hesitate to you'll see a connection more with somebody who's probably from your past or your inner child maybe a connection within the community a connection of gathering that's going to bring you more of a sense of creating 
who you are in your journey. Bring it back to your King of Pentacles. Bring it back to your home. Bring it back to what makes you happy when you are alone with your companion. If it is a loved one, if it is a fur baby, if it is, um, you know, something special that you've created, take it back to that. Don't let the self-doubt and the control affect you. A lot of people are rooting for you. Definitely people from your past are rooting for you. A lot of positivity. So that is the card read for the earth signs. Beautiful read, even though half the deck has fallen. I gotta get my table set up, guys. But anyways, have an amazing week, and thank you for tuning in. Please comment, like, and help move this, this tarot readings up the YouTube channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye.